was a crash. You and the kids died. I brought you back. John, so nice to meet you today. Thank you for doing this. Um, I guess the big question in this movie is to clone or not to clone. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah, that, is a question. that is a question. So talk about like you know when you got the script when you first started seeing what this was about, sort of exploring the the ethics of all that. Yeah, I, I um, was immediately drawn to it. You know, it's a fascinating question. Um, gave me an opportunity to learn a little bit more about it. Um, and uh, was found to be at a place that was like truly torn between thinking it's it's a g really good thing and it's there are a lot of pros as, and then thinking wait it's actually could be kind of disastrous you know and is in contrast to things that I have come to enjoy about life as we know it you know and and the uh, the specialness of the life that we know, which is that we only have one. <laughs> and that nature is a beautiful thing, you know. Um, and why mess with that? Why interfere with that? Um, but, you know, again, this is it's so complicated because it just, you know, it, you just go in circles with it, you know, when you're really, if, if you're really tr met with a situation where you're considering something like that. Or, or even close to it, and uh, and you know I hate to see people suffer, especially innocent people and children, um, and uh, and this could be a way to to um, relieve that. So it's complicated, um, and 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 a great source of of drama, you know. Definitely, and the funny thing is your character Jones is sort of the exact opposite of, of what you're talking about yeah. personally. Not to get too yeah. much into him, but I would say he's a guy who sort of looks at people as property, mm -hmm. more, more or less. I, I love the scene where he, he thinks that Keanu Reeves has w walking pneumonia, and he's like, yeah, trooper, you know, <laughs> not, <laughs> never saying, oh, why don't you go lie down or go home. So talk yeah. about that that guy's, his attitude towards yeah. towards life and people. Yeah, well, I think I think he's, you know, um, extremely driven, driven in a business sense where, you know, there aren't too many things that mean more to him than the bottom line and getting to it, you know, and that bleeds into a false sense of power um, and, and to live with that, to like truly think of someone who's living with that and how they treat others and how they, in fact, treat themselves. And what's important to them is, um, is uh, juicy stuff, you know? And I, and, and I thought it might be interesting to, in terms of a little history with the guy to make him come from a place of the military, you know? So he's got the, uh, that kind of structure and that kind of, you know, black and white mentality with the muscle behind that, you know, and the regiment of what that may mean mixed in with someone who who is just as driven in a regimented way, but who can easily, you know, zigzag from point A to point B to only get what they want. So from being a, of a place of service to being a little more selfish, I thought is an interesting trajectory for a character. <laughs> 